The king's not so good at everything he thought he was. No, there's a little girl who's better than him. And she's blind. Imagine how much of a hit that is to his, his newly found ego. I cannot you know? imagine. Killua, we still don't know what came of him after Ikago saved him. I think that's how you pronounce it. And then, so Gon is teaming up with the lizard dude. Patreon to watch all that he cut. Subscribe for more content like this. Let's hop into the video. About 5,000. 5, just like storing up food, maybe? No, these are eggs. I think this is a storage room. Oh. Oh, yeah, you're right. These aren't eggs. Gungi. Oh, yeah, those yeah, are his this meals. Is his food. That's disgusting. Oh, they're gonna be killed in an instant. Oh, yeah. Ah. Because I totally forgot that we're, we're locked away right now with Chidu. Uh huh. Yeah, that's good. gonna be a good fight. Zoop. A little warp pad. Where did he go? That'd be the best for like doing magic tricks for real. Oh yeah. It's crazy. It's so cool. The old guy has that too, right? No, this is just where he, uh, Net Netero was transported by him to, oh. to be here. Because they put him in there and then they dropped the ants in for him to kick their butts. Got it. Okay, so it's just his ability. Okay. Yeah. What does he got on the ground here? Drinks? Water. Keep himself <laughs> hydrated. Seeking in water break. <laughs> wow. That is so cool to me. That's crazy. I love that. It's a lot similar to what's going on with Chidu almost. Yeah, it's the same like dimensional yeah. thing. Can only enter and exit via the location of the entry portal. Ah. What? So Where did he go? So he can go around anywhere with that master key. He's like the hotel innkeeper. Yeah. He could start an Airbnb here. Only attacks the bad guys. Breaking down structures and throwing at them using projectiles. Mm -hmm. That's smart. It is. He's who's following you around the last two episodes, right? Bro. I know. He might have the, uh, the heart of surprise here. He's not looking the right direction. <laughs> she is so pissed that he's just laying down. <laughs> Don't you want to play, bro? Bonk! Oh, he almost got him. He's so annoying. <laughs> Let a dude rest. Bro, I would chase him just for that one reason. He's gonna shut up. Right? What an idiot. That could be well rested <laughs> for the final fight, bro. For like hurting his ego yeah. and wasting his time. He needs attention. He's such a brat. Na, 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 na. <laughs> this dude he slapped his butt. Whole goofy villain, bro. Here we I are. I didn't notice this. Through at the first. trees, it's a psycho. I thought this was like underground at first when they first showed it. I knew. No, it was it's in here. the courtyard. Oh, yeah. that's in that shot. What is he reading? A good old novel. Something poetic in there, man. He's very invested. It's very uh -huh. small, too. Maybe it's like a diary. It's on purpose. It's like these nerds. <laughs> Let us begin. So now we're in a position where anybody can mess up. Yep. We're just doing an initial setup so far. This is the most intense board game I've ever seen in my life. Seriously is. This opportunity. This makes you want to learn a board game. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the only game out of all of them that's not the real one. Does she meet her match? Does she have a rebuttal or will she lose her head? 
Let me hear you squeal. I just want someone to be. She, he wants to be better the than best. her. The best. Dummy! Oh my god, all the possibilities. That's checkmate again. So she won? Yeah, she got him. It's like insulting him almost. Mm -hmm. There's a name for it. Coco Rico. Oh, she made it! Oh. Dog. <laughs> Dang. Ten years ago. Wait, how old is she? She's so humble, too, and how she views herself. Did she lose? Oh, no, she uh, won that song. That's why. It's like a forbidden jutsu of this uh -huh. game. <laughs> how do you think he's feeling about this kind of compliment? It feels so genuine. Wow. That is the most poetic description. That is crazy. She hesitated because it was like killing off her baby. She's out. GG. <laughs> right? Yeah. About killing them. I feel like there's a lot we can make out of this. If he's like growing and like... like is I especially think that now too. Especially that Shia LaBeouf here when it should have no significance. That line is... Yeah. Mega foreshadowing, right? Agreed. <laughs> this dude's so annoying. Okay. Let's go. No, nah, two and a half. That's all I need. Uh, what? He's already got him. He attached it to him. Oh, stop. That's, genius. That's so cool. So he slowly sat there and it went around. Oh my gosh. He can only run but so far. Uh oh. He's so trying to break it. He's not going to. Bad kitty. Dumb kitty. He's like walking toward the fastest character of the show so slowly. <laughs> what if he broke his leg off? Maybe that would be it. I mean, that was his fault for setting it up for so long. Yeah. I feel like you can break your leg here and be okay, but then you only have one leg. So how are you gonna run away, actually? I don't know. I guess it's not a good strategy after all. Oh, God. Claw crossbow? I love how the narrator put that in so casually too. He's I like, know. because reasons, he developed this. <laughs> he just wants to be noticed. Oof. <gasps> Dead. not even that fast. I was a little worried for a second. Oh my. Because <laughs> you're an idiot. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going down swinging. <gasps> what? Wait. Oh. He even created a smoke clone of himself. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Dummy kitten. So that was coming out of his mouth while the other one was going around. Mm -hmm. Created two of them. Yeah, that's not cheater though. That's just a hard L. Back to reality. No, I'll take that L. That's it? <laughs> he knows he can't do it. Well, that's important information you just dropped to us. That you can get new power from him? His superiors dropping out new powers like their quirks being given out. Mm-hmm. Shia LaBeouf. Oh, we got him! He actually pulled off the, the Baha'i attack. 
wolf. It was easier to catch him because he's not as strong. Yeah. I'm surprised we got him off guard. Yes. That's a big mistake. Not calling it off. Mm -hmm. What? I owe you dispenser. Rental pod. I didn't think do a so. scumbag. Typically borrowing ability in exchange for granting the target a favor. Okay. So he knows he's not dead because the data is still there. He says, I'm an emo lion. You think I'm gonna be okay? Of course. <laughs> a little printer. <laughs> little voucher. So he's able to use the ability for an hour now. Yeah. Uh, I guess he's not that humiliated. But... He's got a competitive spirit. No. That's not what he's saying. He's enjoying it. That's competitive. No. He's enjoying her company. He's enjoying hmm. hanging out with a human, with a person. I, I, I think I'm interpreting it as like he likes, he likes challenge is what I read it as. No, he's frustrated because he's enjoying the time with her. I, okay. I see what you mean by that. He let her talk. He heard her out. He's starting to like enjoy her company. That's, that kind of ties in with what Shia said a bit better. Yeah, and with like this truth that like they do have humanistic qualities because they're made from eating humans. Mm -hmm. So they're like, where does their morality kick in, and how does it kick in? They're like, start as monsters, but some of them develop some kind of like. I think it's a mixture of everything. You know, normally I feel like he would be the type to get mad about anything in life and just. Oh yeah, he has in the past. I think we're ramping up pretty fast here too, especially to see things uh, come back around with Cheeto's fight being over now, and now we have uh, Flutter's ability being rented out. Mm -hmm. Lots of things happening all at once, and you can watch future episodes right now over on Patreon, completely uncut. Check it out there before YouTube sees it, and make sure you subscribe for more content like this. We'll see you in the next one.